Faith means the will to avoid knowing what is true. Insanity in individuals is something rare, but in groups, parties, nations, and epics it is the rule. One should hold fast one's heart, for when one letteth it go, how quickly doth one's head run away. What really raises one's indignation against suffering is not suffering intrinsically, but the senselessness of suffering. We recover best from our unnaturalness, from our spirituality, in our savage moods. There is an innocence of admiration. It is possessed by him to whom it has not yet occurred that he himself may he admired some day. One repays a teacher badly if one remains only a pupil. The unreasonableness of a thing is no argument against its existence, but rather a condition thereof. Is not life a hundred times too short for us to bore ourselves? For in fact, nothing is more democratic than logic. It is knows no respect of persons and takes even the crooked nose as straight. Idleness is the parent of all psychology. Every nation, every individual, has unpleasant and even dangerous qualities. The maturity of man. That means to have reacquired the seriousness that one had as a child at play. He whom the flame of jealousy encompasseth, turneth at last, like the scorpion, the poison sting against himself. The most common sort of lie is that by which a man deceives himself. The deception of others is a relatively rare offense. What we experience in dreams, provided we experience it often, pertains at last just as much to the general belonging of our soul as anything actually experienced. By virtue thereof we are richer or poorer. One must still have chaos in one to give birth to a dancing star. Marriages which are contracted for love, so-called love matches, have error for their father and need necessity for their mother. We are all growing volcanoes which will have their hours of eruption. How near or how distant this is, nobody of course knows, not even the good God. How is it? Is man only a mistake of God? or God only a mistake of man. The best friend will probably get the best wife, because a good marriage is based on talent for friendship. Also known as, it is not a lack of love, but a lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. The thought of suicide is a great consolation. By means of it, one gets successfully through many a bad night. The fact that an intellect contains a few worms does not detract from its ripeness. But the worst enemy thou canst meet, wilt thou thyself always be, thou waylayest thyself in caverns and forests. It is the privilege of greatness to confer intense happiness with insignificant gifts. 
If we possess our why of life, we can put up with almost any how. Also known as, he who has a why to live, can bear almost any how. Let us be on our guard against saying that death is contrary to life. The living being is only a species of dead being and a very rare species. Only where there are graves are there resurrections. It is not the struggle of opinions that has made history so turbulent, but the struggle of belief in opinions. That is to say, of convictions. Culture is liberation. The removal of all the weeds, rubble and vermin that want to attack the tender buds of the plant. No one is such a liar as the indignant man. He who has seen another's ideal becomes his inexorable judge and as it were his evil conscience. Verily, he who possesseth little is so much the less possessed. Blessed be moderate poverty. The kingdom of heaven is a state of the heart, not something to come beyond the world or after death. We sometimes remain faithful to a cause merely because its opponents never cease to be insipid. To die proudly when it is no longer possible to live proudly. <laughs>